Hi guys, welcome to Savvy Money Show with me, your host Sean. Well, I was asked about Tesla, so we're going to get into it. Well, I'm going to start with the thing that started Tesla's downfall, the takeover of Twitter. Now, the courtroom they will deal with if Twitter actually fails the... Um, court case uh, will not be impressed by Elon Musk being a billionaire they've experts in dealing with these kind of cases uh, I like to give bearish and bullish arguments on all of this now there's the argument that Twitter will have to uh, say how many spam bots are on their platform and that that could be considered fraud as them saying there was only five percent However, there's also the side where Elon knew about the spam bots going before he signed the agreement because he's actually said, first thing I will do when I buy Twitter is clean up the spam bots. So Twitter could argue he was aware of it. And there are three outcomes here. Either they find in Elon Musk's favour and he doesn't have to pay anything they find in Twitter's favour he has to pay a billion dollars to walk away or he has to pay 44 billion dollars and take over the co company <clears throat> don't forget to hit the lovely like button and the sexy subscribe button and don't forget the bell notification you'll be notified when a new video gets uploaded and the free links in the description below you can pick up a free share worth up to 200 pounds and check out our discord and if you want a more in-depth analysis of any stock or market conditions then why not look at our upgraded membership program and support us Now we talk about Germany. We heard Elon on a call speaking about how uh, a couple of the factories, including the Germany one, was like throwing money into a furnace. Now, you could argue every factory is like that at the start, and then it starts paying off dividends. However, in case you didn't know, Germany has just started rationing their electricity so that each resident will only be allowed, according to reports, don't quote me on this, one hour of electricity, uh, uh, one hour of hot water a day. And the thing is, if you're only allowed one hour of electricity a day, then you, that's not going to help his plant run. The, it can, of course, be a temporary measure while they get gas and electric from another country. And they may well be rewarded by the German government for sticking with them. But as I said, there's a lot of maze ifs. I am a Tesla shareholder. Do not think I'm ragging on them. I do think, considering everything that's gone on, the production numbers are better than I expected. But anyway, uh, this is all because Germany heavily rely on Russia for their oil and gas and the Nord Stream 2 pipeline uh, they're going to stop using the gas and electric from that from Russia as I said I think it is, will only be a temporary measure but during this period it will hit them harder 
and then you get to the Chinese situation. An FBI spokesman came out and said that uh, for companies not to operate in China because China will steal your technology and then try to undercut you. And it's funny how it was seen as an aspect of China being altruist and their CEOs have to breathe the same air as the uh, ordinary citizens as to why Tesla was the only company, well, only only Western company that was allowed to open a factory in China without having either a Chinese CEO or giving a percentage of the company to the CCP. Now, that is a rule by the Chinese government and they broke it for Tesla. And then from then, all of a sudden, all these EV companies spun up. I'm not saying they have stolen technology from Tesla, but it's funny how BYD suddenly started to outsell Tesla and there was reports of Tesla trying to sue the company for uh, stealing their tech, which went nowhere. Now Tesla has always been overvalued from a fundamental standpoint, but it was always on the basis that uh, they are a leader in full self-driving, and which is a lot like sonar for cars. And the problem is they have, have issues with it, they keep pushing it back. And of course there's all these, always all these reports about people dying in Tesla car. Well, people, no offense, people die in every car. And they're, at this point, I'm not expert enough to say whether it's better or worse than any other car. All I can say is that Waymo, and by Google, seems to be, which was apparently a bit way behind, seems to be going on leaps and bounds in the last year. And this isn't me pushing for Google or Waymo, because I would love for Tesla to actually be the first. It is me saying how they seem to be dragging their heels on it. And I don't know what is happening. And I don't know if it's just fine tuning. They could come out with it at any point. I do think full self-driving, whoever comes out with it, whether it's Waymo, uh, Tesla or another company, that it's a massive opportunity, not just for the robo taxis, but also as a driving aid for people who cannot see, who are partially sighted. Now, Elon Musk has spoken about a robo van. Personally, when the there's so much that he's promised already that hasn't been that hasn't come out yet. I think it is just him trying to divert from the fact that sorry about this that he has twins with Neuralink executive Siobhan Zillis. But what do I know? I'm just some idiot on the internet. Don't forget to hit the like button, comment in the box below and subscribe. Whether you're a holder, whether you agree with some of mine, a thesis, or whether you disagree. Fact matters is one thing we can all agree on is that earnings are always a gamble. But we can see here you have everyone thought it was going to go down and it went up and then you can see 
everyone cheering who wasn't a Tesla shareholder about it going down but it looks like it's consolidating like it can get ready for another leg up I'll see you in the next video if you found any of my videos helpful and you want to help me make more you can support me by buying me a coffee the link is in the description below